we have a slab at the bottom of the stairs, four inch concrete that's sloping down at at least a quarter of an inch per foot towards the dirt. Hello everyone, I'm Caleb with Danzy Design Build and today we're talking about basement walkout entrance drains. How do the drains work to manage the water that's coming down in a rain, storm, or snow during the winter? So here in Utah, I'm here at our basement finish that we are just wrapping up with this basement walkout entry in Harriman. And what we're doing here is we have a slab at the bottom of the stairs, four inch concrete that's sloping down at at least a quarter of an inch per foot toward the drain. That's the first step in making sure that you don't get a flood. Then underneath the drain, there's the, the grill and it funnels down into plumbing piping. So we pipe that down into a, a container that can be a five gallon container or a 10 gallon container. Sometimes we use a 20 gallon container depending on our needs, but typically it's five gallons. In that five gallon container, we drill holes on the sides and on the bottom so that when that water gets in there from the drain, it fills up and drains out the sides. Now, on the outside of that container, we put a lot of gravel, one inch gravel to two inch gravel, and that's going to allow a lot of space in between the rocks for water to flow through as it's coming down the drain, into the container, out of the container, into the rocks, from the rocks, into the soils. And that process allows the earth enough time to absorb that water and to allow it to percolate into the soils. So that is the process that we use with basement walkout entrances and the drains at the bottom of the stairs to make sure that we have the proper drainage. Now, one thing to make sure is that when we do these drains, we need to make sure that they stay clean. I mean, they can handle some, some debris, some dirt and some, some things like that. But what we need to avoid like any drain is we wanna make sure that they do not have excessive leaves or debris clogging the drain because that would obstruct the water from entering the system underneath the concrete. So that's one thing to be mindful of as the maintenance site after the construction is done. So that's how we do our drains. And uh, if you need help with finishing your basement or remodeling your home, you can reach us on our website. We have a lot of resources there as far as for pricing guides for basement finishes, basement finishing cost calculators that you can download and a lot of other good things there in our blog, a lot of articles that we've written to help with these kind of things. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can comment in the comment section and let us know what you are wondering and we can address those questions in another video. So have a wonderful rest of your day and thank you for your time. See you later.